Greetings to Bob and all of your friends and colleagues. I wish I could be there. Uh, you know, as I look back over the last 13 years that I've been associated with you, the thing that most comes to my mind is your leadership in creating new institutional frameworks and initiating new futures, ones that wouldn't have happened without your personal involvement. It's a very special kind of leadership, I think. It's, it takes the ability to imagine a future that isn't today, but is built on the components that are here today. And yet, if it happens, the future is transformed. Specifically, the idea that you could encapsulate in this baby institute the leadership that we've seen in Southern California and information technology and telecommunication, but then to imagine that coupled to a wide range of applications which confront the real problems that California, the nation, and the world are going to have to be dealing with over the next few decades, that was quite an amazing achievement. And Although most people who weren't there don't realize, you were the one who really had that vision and then helped recruit me and Ramesh to turn it into reality. You didn't stop there. You knew that for this to be successful, we had to not only cut down and the, the barriers between the silos of departments, schools, and even campuses of the University of California system, but more importantly, we had to also increase our outreach to industry and the community. Now, I had just arrived uh, in 2000 from the University of Illinois, had no connections with industry, had no way to actually uh, make this vision work, and more to the point, get the two to one match that we needed for the state funds. So as Dean of Engineering, you reached out to your industrial partners, asked them to double up their commitment and win one for Southern California. Without that, Cal IT2 would not exist as we know it today. But you didn't stop there. You personally mentored me when I needed to understand the details of how the University of California or University of California San Diego worked you provided me space on the same floor as your office for years. And then, even after you left the university, you continued to support us on the advisory board from the private sector, and then as president of the Kavli Foundation. Uh, and I know that as we look to the future, I can always call on you to continue to get these kind of deep insights about what the bold move is that will really change everything. So thanks so much, Bob. All of us uh, owe a great debt to you, and happy birthday. <laughs>